How's it going you guys? Today I'm going to show you the best bait for catching sheephead and I'm going to show you guys how to catch sheephead from a boat on bridge pilings, everything you need to know. You guys will see this bait in a couple minutes and I will show you how I'm rigging it, how I'm doing everything, leader, line size, everything you need to know right here on Hog Squad and I'll see you guys when we're catching fish. Peace. All right guys, so here's our bait for today. The super great sheephead bait, the Fiddler Crab. They got one big claw, one small claw. And I'll show you guys the setup we're using. So starting off today with some 15 pound leader and we got a tiny little hook, like I mean tiny little hook for those finicky. Sometimes the sheephead are finicky, sometimes they're not. Can be hard to tell. And we're just gonna hook that Fiddler right through the back and then out the side like so just like that and we got a little split shot we got some current here as you guys see we're fishing a nice bridge a lot of barnacles a lot of stuff and we're gonna get right into the mean structure right ahead flip it out and pretty much without a doubt we should get a sheep head here i mean it's perfect this is like where a sheep head lives this is our prime muscles everywhere there should be a lot here, so let's see if we get bit. Getting bit, boys, getting bit. He didn't take it, though. He didn't take it, but got a couple bites. I think he got my fiddler. Yep, got my fiddler. Wrapped me up all funny, but I had seen a sheep head, you know. We got the trolling motor down right now, so pretty secure. And um, yeah, I just got bit, saw a sheep on the piling. Stole my fiddler, but luckily we got a lot more. And just always, guys, same thing we're doing here. The one thing I might do is switch to like, cause this one has too big of a hole for this hook, so it kind of like eats up the hook. She might screw me over when it comes down to that moment. Cause we're gonna drop him back in the zone. Hopefully he gets bit right away. Cause I know there are sheephead there, but I just got bit, so we'll see. I mean, guys, when the sheephead bite, it's just like. It is the smallest bite ever. Man, they're getting me. I don't even feel them get me. Sorry guys, didn't have my camera running and just missed the fish, of course. Try to turn my camera on in time. Note to everybody out there who films and fishes, just have your camera running. Screw the battery life, screw it all. If you don't get to set the hook in time. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, oh, sketchy, sketchy. Oh. No, oh, no, no, I'm gonna lose this fish. I'm so, oh, there he is. Oh, we got him, boys. Nice sheep. Nice sheep head. Oh, that's a sheep head right there, boys. Look at that. There we go, boys. There we go. Nice size sheep head, just like that. There we have it. Beautiful sheep head. We're not playing for keeps today. Gonna let this beautiful fish go. Just like that, we're catching some beautiful size sheephead right here on the fiddler crabs. We're gonna catch a lot more bridge fishing. We're gonna try to catch bigger than him, guys. We're trying to get a lot bigger than him. Solid. Let him go. But yeah, guys, one thing you definitely wanna do, this is a 2500 reel. I have the drag tight right now, guys. I am not trying to let him sprint off, take a nice drag grip that way or that way because you will lose him or any of these sheep head down here. So I'm just doing nice and easy. The current switching up a little bit, but the trolling motor, I'm able to get nice and close and drop right in between these pilings perfectly. Get, so as you guys saw, like I didn't get bit on the outside, but when I got nice and tight to the structure, I'm bit. Oh, 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 yep. Oh. Dude, that's a giant. Dude, that's a giant. Got it? Yep. Hold on. Oh. oh! He ran out. That's so nice that he did that, guys. That's a good fish. Oh, dude, look at that cheap head. Holy smokes, boys. That's a giant. I don't got net, so we're doing this the sketchy way. Uh. <laughs> Woo! 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 Holy smokes! That's actually, I think, my PB sheep head right there. I don't think it's much better than that. That's a good eating fish right there, but we're not keeping him. 
I'm actually gonna let him go. See, look at that little hook. Right in the corner, boys. Look at this fish. That is a, what do you think on that? That was probably the sketchiest bounce in history. But guys, look at this sheep head. This is just the solid one we've been chasing after today. I mean, of monster proportions. Just a giant, all around gorgeous sheep head. I mean, if I was playing for keeps, he'd be on the dinner table. Uh, oh, there he goes, but that marks a good start, boys. That marks a really good start. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. There it is, boys. Oh, oh, dude, it came off. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, boys. That would have been bigger than the last one by like, a, like three pounds. Holy smokes. That might have been a black drum or something, guys. Cause that, I set the hook on that fish and that fish like did not budge like he just went Doop. like i said ow 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 but yeah i set the hook on him and he was like okay <laughs> that was in oh pulled it out of his mouth again all right boys move spots the dolphins the dolphins oh bit oh are you serious <sighs> stuck uh, oh he's still there he's still there. he's out he's out Oh my God, this is so bad. Oh, got him out, got him out. Dude, it's a big sheep head. Dude, this thing is huge. Whew. Nice sheep. Flip him up for you boys. That was scary guys, he got me in the stuff. Nice, nice sheep head on the fiddler once again. We moved spots because the dolphins were everywhere, literally everywhere. So happy we did. Chill, chill. Not as big as the other giant. All right, guys, another beautiful sheep head for you. Check that out. Solid fish. Just fishing the bridges. We're still after a giant. This guy pulled actually almost harder than that one giant. But we're gonna let him go. We're not playing for keep. Just an instruction, kind of instructionary video for you guys. We're gonna just breaking down everything. And look at that guy. It's a beautiful fish. It's a beautiful fish. Teeth on them are always crazy to see. Human teeth. This one needs some braces. All of them have like perfectly straight teeth. But let's toss this guy back. Yep. Oh, that one almost had me in the that one had me in the ropes. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how I cast, how I do my placement. We got the little weight on right there. We got the fiddler crab. So basically, I'm gonna cast as close to these pilings as I physically can, right in the middle, and try to get close to the edge of one, because these these pilings are gonna be your best bet to catch a sheephead, guys. You gotta be nice and close, and ready for the bite. And these fish are strong. They'll try to get you in the pilings. That's why you need to have your drag tight and ready to go. I have 50 pound, 15 pound leader on right now because these can, they can be finicky. So lighter leader can help you, but you don't want too light in this kind of stuff. Cause look at all those muscles guys. That is a death sentence for you. If your line gets too, too close in that, especially braid. So use an extra long leader guys. I highly recommend that. And then you'll be in the money. I like to use a nice long fluorocarbon leader. Just got picked up. Oh! Yep. Oh, that's a nice one. Good sheep head, boys. There we go, boys. We got another sheep head. Just as I described to you, doing exactly that, right up in the pilings. And this one absolutely reamed the bait. Nice chunker of a sheep head right here, guys. It's a pretty chubby one. Built. Built to go. Look at that hook, guys. Look where that hook went. <laughs> right in the lips, barely hooked. But I think he's a chubby one. Not the longest fish. Oh, pooping on my boat. Thanks, dude. But yeah, super sick, guys. Super sick. All right, he's gone, guys. <laughs> Whatever. I got poop all over me. What a day, boys, getting in some sheep head. The wind has completely picked up, so that's no fun, but we're still getting the sheep head in. 
still getting them in just bridge fishing guys super fun especially when you can't run offshore guys this is another fun alternative and i mean the temperature this morning was like 30 something degrees so it was pretty chilly it was pretty chilly but hey we're getting on some fish so having fun it's all that matters yeah guys so the trend of the day has been like a couple bites and then they're just on like you go work the whole bridge they're gone it's crazy just like two fish and that's it. it seems to be the trend of the day for each bridge so i think we're gonna pick up and move spots here maybe grab a bite to eat on the water um yeah because it just did i really get crunched and not feel it how is that possible i think i just got crunched and not felt it oh bit 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 got him got a nice one boys that's definitely a good sheephead Oh, let's get away from there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a really good sheep head. Oh, look at that donkey of a sheep head, boys. This might be a sketchy flip. Might lose them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, boys. Oh, that's bigger than the last giant. That's the biggest one of the day. Look at that sheep head. Oh, chill, 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 chill. All right, boys, there's a brute sheep head for you. Think that might be bigger than that one big one. Look at the shoulders on them, the head on them. That is a gorgeous sheep head, guys. That is what we were after. This is the fish we were after. I mean, hell yeah, guys. This is how you catch the big ones, boys. With this one bait, the fiddler crab, you will catch these monster sheephead. And they're such a fun fish to target, guys. They pull hard on light tackle, you know, it's just it's a great time targeting them. And they eat cool baits. They eat really cool baits. I mean look at that. Look at took away just yet i have something important to tell you because i'd like to thank you guys for watching this video it means a ton i'm super grateful for all of you who have subscribed and for all of you who have not subscribed it's an easy free button to click it means a ton to me if you subscribe and helps me on my journey a lot in this amazing fishing world we live in and don't forget to turn on that notification bell because you'll get to know whenever i post a new informative video about fishing and also Thank you guys so much for just hitting that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the water. Peace.